Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Carissa. Thanks for tuning in. So today's video is going to be a luxury haul slash unboxing. So I did pick up a new purse, a new wallet, and a pair of new shoes that I wanna share with you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so let's start with the Louis Vuitton stuff that I got. So like I said, I did pick up a new purse and wallet so I will insert a video of me here doing the unboxing I filmed this a couple of days ago but today is the first day I finally had a chance to jump on and talk to you guys about the items so the first item I would like to show you guys is the wallet so this is the Louis Vuitton Clements wallet and this is what it looks like this is such a gorgeous wallet I am totally obsessed so I have been overdue for a new wallet for a while um, and this is the one I decided to pick up I'm a fan of zipper wallets just because I don't know I just feel like they're more secure so this one has the gold hardware and the pink leather um, strap here so I this is actually my first day using the wallet but um, it se opens seamlessly and then the inside is also this like baby pink and I absolutely love, love, love this wallet. It holds all of my cards very, very well. So there are eight card pockets as you can see here. And um, I love this wallet just because it does have the card slots but it also has the zipper in the middle for change. Um, and I absolutely love that. That was like a, an essential for me. So there were a couple of other wallets I, were, I was considering, but those did not have the coin slot in the middle. And that's kind of a big deal to me because you know if I have change, I don't wanna have to have like a coin purse or anything like that. I like all my stuff to be in one place. So this is the monogram print. And I decided to go with this one just because I feel like this one is more timeless and the color is very classic, so I just fell in love with this. The moment she showed this to me, I knew that I would probably get this wallet. So it was between this wallet and the Sarah wallet, which is more of the, it is an envelope style wallet. So it had the button closure instead of the zipper. And that one was very cute, but it just didn't sell me like this one did. A little bit more about this, the inside. So it does have the back pockets here on each side so I do have a couple of random cards that I don't really reach for I have like my um, global entry card in there I have like a um, books or what's it called Barnes and Nobles card in there I have my Metro card in there so I have like the stuff I don't really use as much in those back pockets but my essentials I do have in the card slot so I cannot say enough about this wallet this is like totally worth the money for me I love the shape of it it's very thin as you can see but it still holds so much um, when I was in the store, I was able to fit my iPhone in this as well and zip it up. But just to keep the shape and preserve the wallet, I'm probably not going to put my iPhone in there. But I just want to throw out there that you probably could. So this is the Clements wallet again in the monogram print and I am obsessed. So the next item I have here is actually my purse that I got and this is so overdue you guys. I have been trying to talk myself out of purchasing this bag for so long but I just decided to go for it because I needed a bag like this. Like I showed you guys two of my other luxury bags and both of those are crossbody bags and I'm definitely a crossbody girl for sure but I wanted a bag that was a classic shoulder bag that you know I could switch it up with whenever I didn't want to carry such a small bag because both of those bags hold my essentials but if I wanted to carry like some extra things this would be the bag I would definitely use so I'm just gonna open this up so this is the duster bag and then you open this and here it is so, this bag is the Graceful PM bag in the monogram print, as you guys can see. This bag is such a beauty, you guys. And as you can see, it's just a classic shoulder bag. 
It has the beige trim and it also has the beige interior, which they had a red interior and a black interior, I believe, but I just felt like the beige was, since summer's rolling around, this can definitely be transitioned to summer and also into fall because of the brown. And I just fell in love with this bag. Um, this, I was deciding between this bag and the Neo Noe bag, which is kind of like a bucket bag, or not kind of, it is a bucket bag that can transition from a shoulder bag to a crossbody bag, and that one was super functional, but I didn't like that it has such structure to it. But this bag, the Graceful PM, is the winner. This is exactly what I need and what I'm looking for. Um, it's just such a staple item, and the print is a staple, so I am totally in love. I'm gonna show you guys the interior, so it is very open. Um, it's similar to a tote bag, but not as um, tote style like the Neverfull is. And this is also, it has a zip closure or a zip zipper pocket in the back, as you can see. The actual closure is a magnetic top, um, so it just opens like this, and then um, you put it back together with the magnet. So such a such a cute item i decided not to get it monogrammed just because i don't know i may change my mind because i have i've had the speedy bag before and i actually sold that so i'm scared that i might want to sell this one but i highly doubt i will sell this one when i got the speedy i kind of knew that i wasn't like in love with it this one i totally am obsessed with have no regrets and if you guys are in the market for like a shoulder bag, check this one out. It is such a staple. So the last item I want to show you guys for this luxury haul is a pair of shoes. So I don't know if Aquazura is as popular as some other designers. I know that I first heard of Aquazura, I think um, a few years ago, and I started following them on Instagram and fell in love with all of their shoes. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not the heels type of person. Um, I, as I get older, I find myself gravitating more towards heels, but for right now, um, I like a lot of block style heels, something with a lot of support. And although they do have a few shoes like that, most of their shoes are the stiletto heel or very like skinny heel. So unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to purchase anything else from Aquazura except for these shoes here. So I was able to find these marked down because these are from last season, I believe. These are called the Powder Puff Mule Shoes. And I paid probably a quarter of, well, no, I'd say about half the price, maybe even more than that, 75% off. I definitely got these for a steal, but um, this is what these shoes look like. So here is the duster bag. I'm just opening this. I have already opened the shoes before, but just going to Out. so this is what they look like you guys these are so adorable and I just think these are like such a classic silhouette style shoe and this is definitely gonna be my go-to in the summer as you can see it has the gold detailing on the heel and the um, suede uh, the top of the shoe is actually suede and then the puff at the top so I just think that this is just like such a cute shoe to dress up or down. And my intention is to definitely wear this casually, but if I think of something to wear with uh, more dressy, I will definitely throw these on. These are comfortable, these are stylish. I am absolutely in love with the color, which is kind of what really sold me. I wasn't really like seriously looking for a shoe like this, like a mule loafer style, but when I saw these, I said, I've been wanting a pair of shoes from Aquazora for so long. I love this style. I think this will be great for summer. So I just decided to go for it. As you can see, it's in this beautiful berry, mulberry plum color. Um, it's more of a burgundy color and um, 
kind of a like I said like a plum it does have like a little sh little bit of purplish tone to it but either way I just know that this shoe had my name all over it and I'm super impressed with Aquazora I would definitely purchase from them again just because of how comfortable these shoes are and by the way I got a size 38 which I probably could have sized up to a 38.5 but this is all they had available so I'm just gonna make it work these are um, true to size so that is it for this luxury haul video I know this is different from my other typical haul videos um, I know I stick to the fitness stuff most of the time but I actually do have a wardrobe outside of Lululemon so please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed please subscribe and like comment and thank you so much for tuning in. See you in the next video.